Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Lynn Bailey. I'm a printmaker, and this is my virtual tour of my studio for North Yorkshire Open Studios. I've been working from home for the past few weeks, working hard on some new work, so come with me and I'll show you around. Uh, mostly I work with lino, but I do do some dry points and some wood engraving. Um, this is my home studio at the moment uh, and I'm doing a bit of an introduction for North Yorkshire Open Studios virtual event. Uh, so I'm currently working on a, quite a small lino in terms of cutting and actually this piece on the wall here is a, um, a piece that I'm working on at the moment in terms of layering up the blocks, getting the colours right. Uh, so these are a few testers in terms of getting the right colour for Fox. That's the original sketch up there, which is quite simplified. And I'm going to show you later on in the video a bit of inking up and putting on that final layer and that reveal when you get to see the whole piece as a whole. Primarily I'm a lino cutter uh, and today that's what I'm working on. So I'm working on quite a small piece. Uh, which is of some lambs that I was watching and photographing the other day on a walk on the moors. Um, my studio, both my home studio and where I would usually work from, are uh, right on the edge of the moors, so I'm really lucky to kind of be able to observe the bird life and the wildlife that is on the moors, which is quite different to surrounding areas. Uh, these are my tools, which I use. They're a series of V-shaped and U-shaped gouges, and it's a collection of a set which I bought when I first started printmaking, which is actually from Hawthorne Printmakers. And they're a supplier that's based in York and you can actually visit, so that's fantastic. And they're really helpful. All of my inks are also from Hawthorne Printmakers. They're oil-based, linseed-based, and they're lovely to work with as well. I tend to draw on loads of little bits of paper and then when something turns out right then I kind of go from there. So <laughs> a lot of my sketches kind of look like this and they're just collected in a bag um, and often kind of separate pieces of paper stuck together because I've doodled off the top of the piece of paper. Um, this one's actually a really good one to show that actually. 
because I've drawn loads of sketch, loads of different blackbirds from outside of the window here, eating the nuts and the fat balls. So they're all separate, separate birds, <laughs> and I cut out the favourite ones that I really like the shape of, and I thought would work. And then I've drawn the rest of the scene around it, and that print is this one here. So that's kind of how it came out in the end. So that's kind of how I tend to work and how I sketch. So although I do have a book binders press, which is two plates that scroll down and squeeze together, I actually really like to hand press my prints. So to do that I have a, a baron which has ball bearings in the bottom and that spreads your weight out and that way you can make your print and build up the colours. And So to do that you really need to use quite a thin paper so that you can see what you're doing and you can exert enough pressure to get an even print. So this is a really good example of that. I think you can probably see just how thin the paper is. So these are some of my latest prints that I've been doing. Um, a lot of them have been done over the last two months so they are unfortunately not mounted or framed. Um, but obviously if somebody wanted to buy a print from me, if it came unframed it would be an amount. If it came framed it would be, as an example, with the uh, previous prints that were framed in a natural untreated oak frame that I usually put around most of my prints. Um, but if you want to get in touch with me via email or phone or a direct message via Instagram, that would be great and we can discuss what you would like. Each of my original lino cut designs are printed in limited editions. These are usually kept under 10, uh, often because they're reduction lino cuts. Um, so once I have finished a print, I will scan the image and apply it to various different mediums. So I make cushions from the designs. This is a section of a larger design. And each one has an individual piping and on the back is hand dyed wool in different colours depending on what goes with the front face. I also make lampshades depending on whether the print suits the shape of the shade. And I also make tiles or coasters. These can be used as coasters with the felted backs or they can be used as wall tiles because they are coated in something which is alcohol waterproof and heat proof and that has been done by various people. So there's lots of different older designs here in the, in the basket. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me on my virtual tour of my studio. I'm very much looking forward to getting back to my real print studio and getting down to work. I'm looking forward to taking part in events and exhibitions and being able to speak to everyone face to face again. If you want to know a bit more about me or any of the work that you've seen on this video, please visit my website. There's lots of information on there about edition sizing, pricing, image sizes, 
Um, and there's also social handles on there if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, there's also a link to my Etsy shop on there where there's cushions, coasters and some prints on there. If you want to direct message me about anything that you've seen, please do so.